Spartan, everybody. It's Eclipso. What's up? Um, today, I'm just doing a basic uh, what add-ons I use, um, my interface, stuff like that. Um, people in my stream kept asking me over this. So once again, I'm just figuring out to save myself the time so I can link on my video over going over it every time. All right. So um, basically, um, my whole UI is um, it's called LUI, as in the letter LUI. Um, now, um, I'll go over the basics of it real quick. So um right here if i mouse over here it lets me know all the gold that's uh, on my characters um mouse here it tells me how many free slots i have in my bag um the percentages of each, each piece of my armor you know like head hands chest stuff like that uh this is my latency fps stuff like that um which is it's at 30 which is garbage right now Ugh. i have no idea why normally i'm at like 150 um, anyways, um, so uh, this button right here brings up my recount right here. Now, the other two you can map into uh, doing whatever. I just ain't got nothing key to them right now. Um, so that's my recount. This is my raid frames down there at the bottom. Um, so that does that. Uh, this is my damage and, like, this is my personal damage, healing, healing, done, all that stuff. Uh, whenever I enter combat, it'll uh, bring it up for me. Um, this is who's online in my guild. Of course, friends list. Um, let me see here. I got my mic in front of my face. <laughs> uh, if I click here, it has like all my raid, raid stuff. Now I'm not in a raid group, so let's see if I can get Molly in here or somebody. Let me see here. Show offline, show online. I'm going to invite Kane for a minute, invite him. And I'm just going to convert it to raid so I can show you all. <laughs> take the invite. Take the invite, dog. Take the invite. Take the invite. <laughs> yeah, I'll get him. Hold on. I'm going to invite him. Somebody take the invite. Anybody? Anybody? Nobody loves me. Anyways, um, basically, oh, there we go, there we go. Sorry, if I want to convert uh, convert to party, boom. So, info, something like this, raid, convert to raid. There it goes right there. Um, and then I can, like, drag out. And place my markers, whatever you know, target everybody, all that good stuff to let me leave party. Um, uh, so that's basic, you know, you raise stuff. It's just a lot better than having to, it's, it's a lot more accurate, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to like click, I, I click yes or less <laughs> in the um, uh, process of you know, rating and marking and stuff like that, it just makes it easier. Um, now, this button right here would normally be my map, but I have Sexy Map, okay? If you don't know what Sexy Map is, um, it's this cool little map over here. Um, you can change the size of it, right? Um, you can do a bu bu bunch of cool stuff with it. Um, I can change the look of it, so I'll go to Diablo, right? Change it to that. Faded Square, change it to that. You know, uh, right now I got Shaman by Jay Goody. Now I can clamp it. Now once you get it set up, you can uh, pretty much just send it to your. Um, you 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 can save the profile, and uh, you know just pretty much put it through between all your characters versus redoing it. Or you can make separate ones for each character. It makes no difference. Um, and there's a bunch of different stuff uh, with this. I'm not really going over everything. You get the idea. It's a sexy map. Done. Right. Um, so from there, also, um, uh, I have all these little drag out boys here, which now my map's messed up because I changed the size of it, um, that I can hide and show at any point in time, which is part of LUI. Um, that just holds mounts and, uh, you know, my professions and just easier click away stuff. Now, these are all the blizzard bars right here. Uh, of course, calendar, right? Um, now, the orbs... It, is a big question. Let me move to the right. So, oh no, to the left. So y'all can see the actual orbs. So, um, I, I get a lot, lot of uh, people wanting to know what the orbs are. The orbs are, um, is a really simple add-on. It's a, it's Mistress Diablo orbs. Um, and, you know, it really doesn't have that much customization. Now it changes, you know, like, I, uh, the left one's pink because I'm a paladin, but the moment I hit combat, it'll go red. Um, I can change the size, all that good stuff. Not too much with that. Um, now, also with LUI, I can go in here and I can change the color 
of anything. You can customize stuff. Um, like if I target this, this little bar up here, right? You can move these around anywhere. Um, let's see if I target myself, you know, you can see, you know, cast, I can move target to target. I can, I can do everything. Like you can change the color of it, change the color of health bar. Like this is cheap, very customizable for each person. Now say I want to change the color of the whole thing right now. I got Hunter. Say I want to go to absence. Boom. Hold on. Let me see here. We'll go mage. Yeah, go blue. Now, for some reason, I don't know why um, the size ain't changing, like like these little bars right here. Normally, they do. I just got to log out, and then everything will be blue, but you can see it for the most part. Um, so, from there, um, that's pretty much LUI. Now, as far as this, you just go down, and you just mess with stuff. You'll figure it out. It's not really that hard. Maybe I'll make a, uh, another video later on that's more in detail on it. Um, but right now, it's just basics of my add-ons and what they do, or at least the add-ons I use. Um, so let me change my color back because I hate it when stuff mix matches. All right, so I was back at Hunter. All right, now um, from there, we got, let me see. Oh, also, if I hover over here, I can see all my add-ons now. Well, at least to the some of them. <laughs> all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my add-ons and actually look at them one by one. So NPC scan, NPC scan overlay. Um, basically what that does is it tracks rares and does like a, uh, so anytime you go over a rare spawn, um, it, it'll track on the map. And uh, so it, say you're a hunter looking for a rare pet or something like that, it just makes it a, a lot easier. You just fly over, it starts beeping at you. You know, you target it by clicking on the icon and done, right? You find it, it's over. Or, you know, it's, it's, say it's just like a, a rare mob that you're farming for a particular item or something along those sorts. Uh, advanced interface options. Advanced interface options is what I use since, um, uh, like, a lot of people deal with, uh, um, like, errors and stuff like that. Because, like, especially with many add-ons I, add I have, they clash. And then I deal with a lot of like Lou errors. So I downloaded uh, uh, advanced interface options. Let me see here. If I go here, um, nope, where's it at? Interface, yeah, add ons. And then I just, you know, unchecked the, the display Lou errors and no more. You know, you won't have no more errors, which is lovely. So if you're one of those people that are having a lot of errors, um, highly recommend this. Um, from there, uh, what else we got? We got. Um, the cursive, the cursive is this little thing right here. Um, now, as you see me hovering over, it's just this little dot, um, like blank dot square. If you're a cleansing class or like a healer, I would highly recommend this. It just makes cleansing extremely easy. Um, basically, for everybody that joins my group, um, there'll be another box there for them. So let's say if I invite Molly. Now look, you'll see one here for me. As soon as she joins, Boom, look, there's another one for her. Now, whenever, like, she gets a poisoned or or some, or some anything along those lines, it'll light up red. And instead of having to, like, target her and then click cleanse, I can just click it and it'll cleanse. Or, you know, mass dispel or anything like that. Well, I don't, I don't think mass dispel even matters because you're dispelling everything, anything. But dispel, all that stuff. Um, for that matter, um, let me kick her out. <laughs> no, um, all right, then uh, uh, error filter. Um, I think I need to delete that. That was the same thing as the uh, advanced uh, interface options. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. Uh, raid tools is uh, something that I use for raids. It just lets me, you know, fi basically figure out when people are slacking off. It lets me know if they don't have, you know, um, uh, certain buffs on, like food or flask. Um, it lets me know, like, who lost it, who pulled. Um, also, uh, you know, timers, all that crap, it lets me know, um, uh, whenever I'm handing out loot, it'll let me know, like, it'll show me everybody's thing. So if it's like a loot council thing, it'll show me, you know, who, who, who it's the biggest upgrade for, etc. Um, from there, I use Gladiator, uh, Gladiator LOSA. Um, now, I highly recommend this add-on for anybody that's trying to get into PvP. However, I would not recommend it in Battlegrounds at all because it's annoying. What it does is, excuse me, it um, it basically 
tells you whenever whenever they're popping anything like a, like a major CD like Polymorph, Avenging Wrath, Berserker Rage, Metamorphosis, um, Incarnation, Displace of Beast, anything like that. It'll it'll it's just this little voice that comes in and you know says that like Displace of Beast, Karma, you know, and then you'll be able to more or less uh, know what they're doing and be able to um, counter it effectively. Um, from there, don't have it on in Battlegrounds because if you ever been in an AV, it's going to go ape crap and you're going to, uh, it, it's, it's basically for arenas. That's pretty much it. That's why you use that, that for it. Now, uh, handy notes and handy all that. That is like, if I open up my map, I don't know if there's any handy notes. Broken Owls. Let me see here. No. Let's go to Azeroth. Huh? Pick a place. No? Hold on. Really? Northern, any notes? Just like it lets me know. I'm trying to find like a selfie area or something. It'll let when you're in the area. It'll bring up like any achievement, like the little selfie thing. But have like a little selfie cam there, and instead of just you know not knowing about it or doing that later, while you're in the area, you know you go over there, you snap a selfie, bam, it's working towards your achievement, or it lets you know where um, like the hidden treasures are and. You know, cool stuff like that. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, there's a bunch of them, you know, for, you know, all different expansions, all different achievements, um, holidays, all that stuff. Um, from there, <coughs> excuse me, uh, what we have? We have, um, that's all handy notes. Uh, Leatrix Plus, honestly, I don't know what the heck that does. I, I, I don't know. I don't, eh. QQ um, basically is whenever um, I'm doing carries, so so slash. All right, so whenever I'm doing carries, right, uh, when people link me their keys, it'll automatically come here versus me trying to find it in chat. So wait, like like say I'm doing like a mall carry group, obviously there's one there. Um, it'll just come up here whenever they, they link them and I'll automatically, it, it'll hold them there and then I can just pick and choose to and, and invite that person. Um, Loot Appraiser, Loot Appraiser is a wonderful add-on. It, 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 you need TSM for that. I'll get to that whole add-on thing here in a second. But Loot Appraiser, what Loot Appraiser does is, it's this little icon here. What the heck is going on? No, no, no. Oh, hold on. Something here, something on there. Really, really, you know what? <laughs> My life is a pain in the ass. All right, so let me. All right, there should be a mob down here to kill. Hold up. There better be a mob down here to kill. Bullcrap is there, and there's one. Okay. So, what Loot Appraiser does is it tracks your farms or just basic. And so, say I want to go to, you know, I'm doing a particular gold farm, whatever it might be. It will track, so bam, so there it is. Open up Loot Appraiser, here it is, okay? Now, it'll let me know my goal per hour. It'll ding whenever I, I get an item over whatever threshold I set it at, so anything over 100 gold um, that that's worth 100 gold in, in the auction house or anything like that, it'll pop up and go bing and let me know that I got it. Um, uh, you can also do, like, competitions with your friends to see, like, if it's a group farm, you can see... You know who's or even if it's single farms and say you guys are doing like you know like uh the, the zf farm and you guys are all in your own group and you guys want to race and see who makes the most gold um yeah you guys can all add into a uh, um a challenge on this and then what it would do is you know it'll track every item you, um each of y'all get and then it'll add it up so you guys can see who um who wins which is a very cool add-on, and it, it, if you're doing, like, not even farming, I, I would highly recommend this add-on. This is a, a, a very, it's just a convenient add-on. Plus, I can sell all my trash in one hit, destroy all my trash in one hit. Um, so, like, if I'm saying like that, I can just destroy trash, and then went the rock, right? Or I can sell trash, um, you know, make new sessions. So, I've been doing this one for, you know, one minute, 13 seconds. Just click, new session, starts completely um, over now from there, uh, let's see what the next add-on is. Add-on is Master Plan and Master Plan A. That's a garrison thing. It just makes your um, you be able to send your followers out on missions quicker. Um, let me try to click over to my garrison while I'm sitting here. Um, 
Now, while also, um, I use Margit. If you don't know what Margit is, it's definitely an XMOG thing. So, uh, if, if I hover over an item, um, it will uh, show me what it looks like on my character. So, instead of me having, like, shift-click and all that crap, right, because that's annoying. You shift-click and then it opens up your uh, dressing room. Um, I can just mouse over an item like, uh, like so. Hold on. Still loading here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Laggy little bastard. Mm-hmm. Everything works until you want it, until you need it to work, and then it just messes up, and it is what it is, so you're stuck. Ah, ah. Okay. But you, you get the idea. Right now, it's not, oh, I think it's going to work now. No? No? Okay, whatever. I'll go to master plan and maybe work in a second. So master plan is basically this little thing right here. And instead of dragging my followers over, um, I can just click it. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's go to available missions. So I'll go here, right? And instead of clicking this and having to you know, pick through to see which one's the best, it just automatically does it for me. And I start mission, done. Same thing here. Start mission, done. Start mission, done. Start mission. And that's pretty much it for master plan. Um, next one, now let me see if I can get that market to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there, see? See how it's showing the um, helm on me now? Um, so, and and that works for anything. So if I go here, it shows me, you know, the guilty board, how that how looks, or these boots, how they look, etc. cetera. Um, that, all right, so next one is going to be, well, we know what NPC scan is. We went over that. Personal loot helper. Personal loot helper tells you um, it, if you're out, like, like say you're in a, a mythic and uh, instead of having to message people about what they got or anything like that, it'll automatically tell you um, uh, if it's an upgrade and who it's an upgrade for. So say I get like an 870 neck that I don't need, it'll tell me that such and such is wearing like an 855 and it's an upgrade for him or such and such has a... 835 and it's an upgrade for him um and vice versa of course uh from there pet battle master if you're into pet battles i highly highly recommend this add-on um like it's you need it period it, just period um basically what it does is um there's ways to like like for instance there's ways to levels pet by doing like the pandoran circuit uh, of questing and um, you can do you can level pet from one to twenty five and like three battle pets, two battle pets if it if it's like the or not battle pets, um, battles and, and two pet battles you can level it, um, and three from one to twenty five. Um, but if it's a holiday, you can do it in two. Um, now the the way I do this is like for instance, every time I beat like a, a certain you know like one of the Pandora and Water Spirits or say the uh, Celestial Stormin' Tournament, which, uh, you know, I have beat it. I think my, yeah, there's my little tiger there. He, he's legit. I gotta get the other ones though. Um, what it does is it'll, you have the option to save save that team so you don't ever have to go find it. You know, you don't ever have to mess with the, you know, the way you have it set up for it. You just go here, you find who, you, who you're about to uh, pet battle, you click his name and it'll load it up. Now, with that also being said, um, you see here it has a leveling pet. Now, uh, some of those pet battles, since I'm leveling a pet, um, it will, um, no, nah, sorry. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kill the, uh, the battle pet in, well, I'm, I'm trying to kill their team with two pets, right? And then I level the one. So I bring him in, you know, attack once, drag, drag the pet out and then kill him with the other two. So, and it takes you a couple times to figure that out, you know, depending on, on, on who you're facing. And what this does is level and queue. So it will automatically, um, like these are all the pets that right now that are in my level and queue that I want to level. Um, and then, yeah, so, which I need to set him as a favorite. <laughs> I like mischief. Ooh, and baby Winston. Set two. Um, and then it'll just automatically add them into that slot. I don't have to go looking for one to level. It will automatically do that. Um, so that's that add on. Uh, let me see here. Razor Naga, obviously, that's for um, 
That's for my Razor Naga. All right, it says it itself. Okay, so if you have one of them, I would highly recommend it. That's basically these bars right here. Um, I can change it up, whatever. Um, so if I go here, hold on, that's Mogget. There you go. No, that's Zodi. Hmm. Everything else opened up besides the dang, the one I wanted. But anyways, it's basically the same thing as Bartender, just for Naga. And a little bit more convenient since for, for, for the mouse. From there, server hop. Uh, you hop back and forth the servers, but honestly, it don't work at, um, as well as it used to. It's a high. So if you're doing like gold farming or, or, or you're farming like certain things, um, I might be able to do that while I'm running this. All right, so sexy map scatter is obviously a DPS meter. Same thing with recount. Uh, who lost it? Let me know who lost it once again, which I think I'm, I'm overkill with that. So I need to get, get rid of that one. Um, World uh, Quest Group Finder. That is an awesome thing for uh, current content. Basically, when you're doing World Quest uh, in uh, Legion, uh, when you enter a World Quest area, it will automatically uh, queue you for a group. Now, when it queues you, queues you for a group, <coughs> um, uh, basically, you join into a group and you just com uh, complete that quest that much faster because you don't have to, you know, do it yourself and you got everybody running around doing little bits of uh, uh, quests and whatnot. Now, uh, from there, let's see what else we got while I'm flying over here. See if I can show the interface. Nope, nope, nope. Add ons. Trade Skill Master. Trade Skill Master is the number one add on in, in this game. Um, I've been over it a thousand, thousand times. It is great. And I have no idea why these auctions are not loaded. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, I'll reload it after. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I have a whole nother video in this. If you want to make millions and you want to be a beast, like, and never worry about gold again, never worry about game time again, that's the add-on. Um, so in my channel, it's, it's how to make millions with uh, TSM, Trade Skill Master. Definitely go to that. That will also be in the description um, of this video. Uh, that is by far the, the number one add-on on this game, like, period. Like, nothing beats that. I don't care what, what you have. Nothing. Um, if you don't know about it, you better learn. You're going to learn today. All right? And take the time out. It'll take you like an hour to set it up, get everything downloaded. It is worth every, every second of your time. Um, like I said, I got about roughly on my auction team about 120 million in items. And that ain't no joke. You'll see, you'll see it in that video. So, yeah. Um, now, uh, let me see. Add-ons. What else we got here? Delhi Boss Mods. If you don't know what Delhi Boss Mods is, I'm going to explain it just because some people don't. Um, if you plan to be any sort of, uh, any type of significant raider, get Delhi Boss Mods, period. It basically tells you all boss timers, everything uh, uh, along those lines. It'll let you know, you know when the boss is doing this, when the boss is doing that. It'll tell you when to move. It'll be like, get the hell out of here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now I think that's pretty much it. Ooh, look at this. Die, 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 die. So quick little gold. Now, th 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 this is just something I do. Like I'll fly over certain areas just to see if something's up. It just so happens this one's up. So this is, uh, if you're not familiar with, with what I'm killing right now, this is the Gnar Night Hell. Um, it's a, uh, it's a wolf pet that looks similar to this, just with a saddle. Um, or not a pet, I'm sorry, a mount. And, uh, it's very easy, or easy to solo now. Um, and if you already have it, don't worry, because you can sell it. So, and it drops 100% of the time, there it is. Okay, and as you see, my loot appraiser just went off as well. Um, and let me know, so let me kill these. Da, da, da. see what it's selling for right now, so... Bam. All right, so there it is right there. Some for 4K, so 4K for a couple seconds just because I felt like flying over here for a couple minutes, like three, four minutes. But anyways, that's pretty much it for my add-ons. Um, if y'all have any more questions or any, um, uh, you know, details or you would like to have more, like a more in-depth video on particular add-ons here, um, just leave it in the comments. 
Um, also, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, with that being said, Pippin is, Pippin does, I'm out. Swag, right? Y'all take care now.